Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Glory to God. Welcome to our, our Wednesday night Bible study. Mount Carmel Ministries here at 2015 Grove Street. We thank God for you who are online. Would you text somebody, call somebody, let them know that we're on. Uh, we thank God for those who are in the building and those who are on the way. Our God truly is a wonderful, loving, kind, generous God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. He can do anything but fail. Glory to God. And he's causing us to prosper even right now. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. It's something about praising God. If y'all just give me a minute. It's something about praising God that, 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 that uh, just changes everything that's going on with you. Amen. When you learn how to praise God from your heart, praise God from your spirit, it doesn't matter what's going on with you, around you, but when you just praise God, the Bible says God inhabits the praises of his children, amen, of his people, amen. So can, can y'all just praise God with me? Just, just say glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we magnify you in this place, oh God. Oh, you can do anything, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, bless our children, God. Bless our grandchildren. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. You look beyond all of our faults and you see our needs, God. Father, you see our needs collectively and individually, oh God. And you're able to meet them exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can actually think. Oh, hallelujah. And Father, we thank you for putting inside of us the power to believe that you can do anything, glory to God. Oh, the power to believe that, glory to God, that you are perfecting everything that pertains to us. Oh, hallelujah, God. We thank you, oh God, that we're covered with the blood of Jesus from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, oh God. Father, every place that the sole of our foot treads, glory to God, we can claim it in the name of Jesus that it may glorify you here in the earth realm. Yes, God, we give you glory in this place today. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. We started last week talking about uh, how to deal with the attacks or satanic attacks. The, we, the enemy, anytime you're in this world, you're going to be attacked by the enemy. And don't mess around and decide you're going to do something for God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you, it's like having a target put on your forehead, your back, your arm. You become a target for the enemy. But don't worry about it. Glory to God. God gives us the, God gives us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding, the strategies on how to handle this. Amen. But here's the thing. You and I got to search, search some things out. Somebody say amen. Now, now we looked at uh, 2 Corinthians 8. I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse uh, 8 through 11. And verse 11, I want to uh, say that again. It says, least Satan should take advantage of us, for we're not ignorant to his devices. Amen. God doesn't want us ignorant to anything going on in the world, does he? Amen. Now, but God wants us to walk by what? Faith and not by sight. Amen. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, we don't need to uh, uh, get discombobulated because he came in. Because we know our God is able to give us the wisdom and knowledge to, ha to handle whatever the enemy is bringing. Amen. Where do I find that information? In the word of God. That's it. That's right. I got to be willing to go into the word of God, search out the word of God for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Amen. Piercing the thunder, the soul and the spirit. So I got to learn how to separate some things. Somebody say amen. And see, that's why the enemy attacks your mind. The temptation to doubt God, the temptation to walk away from God and even to be deceived by the enemy comes first with a thought. It comes into your mind and you've got to decide that you're going to bring thoughts that don't line up with the word of God in line with the word of God. Amen. So you're not going to allow the enemy to trick you by causing you to think something that's not real. Somebody said not real. Now, now there's a, uh, when I said not real, uh, 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 you ever had a pain and somebody tell you, well, you ain't, you ain't hurting. You, 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 know, you, you know you hurting. Come on now. You know you, know you hurt. But what we, you, we have to learn that pain sometimes, that those symptoms that we have in our bodies, there are sometimes the things that the enemy is doing to keep you from believing in the fact that I'm already healed. Come on, wave at me if you understand what I just said. Amen. And so I've got to fight through. Touch your name. I got to fight through the pain to get that mindset that I'm already healed. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. You know, oh, 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 hallelujah. I got to stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Glory to God. So we got God is good. Amen. 
Hallelujah. So as we, as we fight off the enemy, as we fight off the enemy, we got to know that the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, he's going to come with all kinds of temptations. But the scripture says, uh, uh, again, uh, I ain't got to my notes yet. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, first Corinthians 10, 2 Corinthians 10, 13. There's no temptation that's befallen you. That's not what? Common to man. Uh -huh. so God is faithful. So any temptation that's coming. Now, can I just say this? When the temptations come, and how many know a lot of times we have temptations or struggles in particular areas? Mm -hmm. And see, that's how you know that's the enemy in that area because he knows that area is kind of special to you. And so he's going to keep coming into that area until you take control over that area. Oh, come on. Stay with me now. Glory to God. And, and, and uh, th that meaning that, that, that the temptation is going to go away doesn't mean that the pain is going to go away. But glory to God, you're going to stand the test of time. Tell your neighbor you can outlast the enemy. And I like the way she said it. I could outlast the enemy. Amen. And see, that's the mindset that you got to have because the enemy is attacking you. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? Then when the enemy starts attacking you, glory to God, it, th these are some things that you've got to learn how to do. Amen. Because glory to God, your, your, it's not true your salvation depends on it, but, 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 but where you go, how you move, what happens next depends on you. Thank you, God. He said all of the promises are yes and amen. To the glory of God by us. Now unto him who can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. But it's according to the power that worketh. In a, come on now, come on now. So, so there's some stuff that you and I've got to do. So when, when the enemy comes, he, got, he told us, don't be ignorant to his devices. Don't be ignorant to his devices. He going to come. Tell you that he going to come. He going to come. I don't care how anointed you are, he going to come. Amen. I don't care how toe up from the flow up you are, he going to come. Amen. Glory to God. He's no respecter of person, nor position, nor title. Glory to God. Uh, he don't respect nothing. Amen. Glory to God. Now, you know if he's going to try to tip Jesus, you know he don't, he don't respect you. But you know how, I think, because of who you are and because of how you handle the word of God, you can tell the enemy just how far to go. Amen. And you can take back territory. Okay, okay. But you got to be willing to uh, 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 get in the fight. We're not ignorant to his devices. Somebody said, I'm not ignorant. I'm not ignorant. Okay, 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 okay. And so temptations are going to come. And so let's look here in, in Genesis chapter 3. Yeah, Genesis chapter 3 is what kind of where we ended up uh, last, uh, last week. Uh, 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 and it's how the serpent, and, 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 and look how it talks about the serpent, amen. It says, now the serpent was more cunning than in the beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. Okay, somebody said, he's cunning. He's cunning. He's a con artist. Amen. And, and what's, what's, what's the, uh, a carn artist knows how to get you, doesn't it? Or how to try to get you. Let me put it that way. Amen. Now, why does a con work? Why does a con work on some people? They let their guards down, okay. They feel they can get something out the deal. They feel they can get something out the deal. God, that's good there. You see, you going, you're going exactly where I want to go. In law enforcement, go ahead, you had something. I said lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom, okay. In law enforcement, there used to be a thing, come on, Deke, help me out, called a pigeon drop. Y'all yeah. ever, ever heard of a pigeon drop? Yeah. Uh, 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 where, where somebody rolled up to you in the parking lot, I done found this bag of money. I, I, I don't know how much in the 12,000, it's a bunch of money, but you need to go get some of your money, of your money, and, put your money. And, and put your money in the bag. We're going to shake it up. That's just, I just added that part. And we're going to count it out, and we're going to split it. Now, they don't told you, they, they, you know, they give you some big amount that's in the bag. You go get 500. And so you thinking, as Tyrone said, uh-oh, if I put 500 in there and there's 5,000 in there, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, what, 3,000? Something like, uh, uh, two, y'all yeah, know, do the math, do the math. Do the, two, two, <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad we got smart people in the church. You know, I'm going to get 2750. I'm going to get 20, I'm going to get 20, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to make some money. And then when you put your money in that bag and they say, I got to go around and the corner and count it out. And you just sitting there, you sitting there air counting. 
only to end up with just air. And so, 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 you, 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 you and I, got, as Tyrone said, you, 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 you got to understand that the enemy will try to make you gonna get, make, make you think that uh, uh, you're going to come out better on this deal if you go with him. Because how many know that sometimes, somebody said sometimes, sometimes for the blessings that God wants to come into your life, sometimes it takes time for them to manifest. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the temptation becomes when it looks like it's taking too long, I'm going to throw in the towel. I'm going to quit. Amen. And, and so we have to learn how to be patient. Amen. First of all, with ourselves. Amen. And then with God. Somebody say amen. Now, now, now here it is. He says the, the, the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field that the Lord God had made. Let me see where I'm at now. Glory to God. He says, he said, uh, and he said to the woman. Has God indeed said, you should not eat of every tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent. See, now he done studied her a little bit, ain't he? Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking. He done, he done studied her a little bit. Uh, let, me, let me clean it up. Thank you, bro. Uh, he done studied them. Because he done watched Adam and Eve walking in the garden. Amen. He, he's probably seen them walking in the garden in the cool of the day with the Lord. Uh-huh. And, and, and I, I, I'm just saying, maybe, maybe when she went by the tree, she just kind of lingered. She, or she kind of looked. And, and, and so he, the enemy will always come at you with something that he's figured out that you're wanting. Come on. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, how would he know what God had said? Mm -hmm. So when he came to him, because otherwise, he had, he had knowledge of what God had said because he said, has God said? Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm -hmm. He's cunning. How many know that folk watching you when you don't think folk watching you? And folks see you when you think folk don't see you. Okay. Uh, and so being cunning and having an agenda, talking about the enemy now. So he's been studying to see when can I implement my agenda. Mm -hmm. He don't just attack. He waits for the opportune time to attack. That snake, that cunning, studying his, his, his victim. And so he studied her and he knows. And, and, and so he, he, he starts to tap into what he believes go, is going on in her head. And the woman said, we should not eat of the tree uh, in the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said we shall not eat of it, nor shall we touch it, lest we die. Now, 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 now okay, okay, we ain't, we ain't gonna go there today, oh, God. So, 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 now, now if, you, if, if you don't have a handout from last week, uh, I still got some up here, go over to God, okay, 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 where am I, where am I, where am I, okay, okay, okay. And then the serpent said to the woman, you, you will not surely die, for God knows that the day you eat of, that the day you eat, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Let's pause right there. He says, you shall not surely die. So, 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 he, 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 you know, he's a liar, but he always throws a, you know, he, he got a little, 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 little conjecture, little, little truth in there. You should not surely die. But, but in saying you should not surely die, he didn't tell her what was going to happen. He didn't tell her the negative part of what was going to happen. Because if God has said not to do this, God has to have a good reason, doesn't he? Amen. And so he doesn't share with her what's going to happen if she eats. He just shares that oh, you ain't gonna, you, you, you're not going to surely die. You're not, you're not, you, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. And, and, and maybe she's so focused on, okay, what can I get if I eat? That she's not even thinking about what I have if I eat. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Uh huh. Yeah, she's not what she's. She's looking at what I'm gonna get. What's it? I, I, I'm gonna get some out of this, and it's gonna be good. And see, that's how the enemy tempts you. Tempts you because he'll make you think that there's something better 
than what God has said. Mm -hmm. On one hand, he'll tell you how good God is, and then on the other hand, he'll try to make you think God ain't that good because God holding something out on you. Y'all with me? Okay, okay. So he said, you, know, you should not surely die. Now, 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 okay, since we're in there, let's think about this. Uh, we know that she didn't die, don't she? No. Amen. But what, what happened? They were separated from God. They, they, that, 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 that connection that they had with God was separated. When, notice that, I'm gonna say, when they both ate. Okay, now, now we know that, that he had given it to the man, but he took the rib out of the man, made the woman. The concept of man and woman came up at the same time. Amen. And so, so, so can I say it this way? Man can't blame the woman and the woman can't blame the man. Come on, talk back to me now. Talk back to me. Because one of the things that the enemy has been doing in this dispensation is trying to have the men and the women fighting over who fought it is. Right. Playing the blame game. And see, while we playing the blame game, he's eating popcorn. Yeah. Watch up, you brother. Come, come back then, come back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Watching the show. Watch, watching the show, watching, watch, watching us act the fool as our children start acting the fool. And, and a group, such name says time out. Cool. So we, we, we have to stop playing the blame game. Amen. Because uh, 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 we, 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 we all in this together. Amen. We're all in this together. And so therefore, we have to stop playing the blame game. What happens when we walk in agreement? Stop talking with me. Talk to me. What happens when we walk in agreement? Uh-huh. If two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. Amen. The agreement. There's so much power in agreement. Amen. And the scripture said one could put a thousand. Amen. It's good you got a thousand on the run. Somebody shout Amen. But when you hook up with your wife or with your husband, uh, uh, what, what happens? Two can put ten down. So if two, if two uh, uh, hook up with another two, and, 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 and how many is that? Come on now, help me with the man. Oh. <laughs> two, look, 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 this is you doing. And, 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 and look. Glory to God. The enemy don't know what to do because we've come together on one accord. There's no more blaming e e anybody. And now watch this now. See, uh, uh, glory to God. Thank you, God. Can, can you put a, put, a, put a pen right there? Because that's a happy moment right there. Just put a happy moment. Hallelujah. We were talking, we were adding, I was getting happier and happier. Because there's nothing going on. Nothing was going on. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, let's put a pen in that right there. Okay. What was another thing that happened? When they both ate, they're separated from God. The, the eyes are, okay, okay. Sin came into the world. How were they dressed? They were butt naked. They knew they were butt naked. Oh, now the sister girl brought up the fact that now they know they're naked. Before then, they didn't know they was naked. They didn't know they was good. They were innocent. There was a glory covering them. And the elements of the world weren't affecting them because the glory had them covered. But when the glory left, now they feel the effects of the world. <laughs> glory to God. You and I got to decide, do we still want to keep feeling the effects of the world or do we want the glory to come back? Think about it now. See, and see, the enemy never tells you what you give up when you decide you're going to go with him. Amen. He'll try to tell you what you're getting ready to get is going to be good. And how many know to tell the two of the devil? Sin, hallelujah, has its pleasures for a moment, for a season. But after a while, sin run out, don't it? The pleasures run out. So you have to decide what you want. Do you want a season of pleasure or a life that's eternal with God? Mm -hmm. 
And, and, and see, even in choosing that life that's eternal with God, he says, I've, came, I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Talking about right here on earth. Still, you're going to have some rain, right? You, still, you're going to have some challenges, right? But, 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 but the beauty of it is, because he's with you, you can go through every challenge. Amen? And then you can come out better than you, than you went in. Somebody shout out, man. Okay, okay, I'm out. What else happens with you when you choose to stay connected with God? Okay. Okay. Peace and you're a light in a dark world. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And you're going to shine as lights. Amen. Now, now, why is that good? Why, why is it good to be light? Help draw. Okay. okay, you a light. Let your light so shine. Okay. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's good. I like that. It's a command from God that we be light. Amen. Okay, show the way. Uh, glory to God. See, you, you like that lighthouse. Amen. You like, like that lighthouse. You pointing the way to the shore. Amen. We good, we good. <laughs> okay, okay. She said she brought her cover. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, all right. So, 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 again, Satan is cunning, right? Satan is cunning. And so what you and I have to do is make sure that we're studying the word of God. Amen? The, the, the only way to become unignorant is how? <laughs> You got to learn something, amen? You got to study the word of God. That, that, that's the only way to get ignorance out, out of there, amen? And you got to study the word of God. And now not only got to study the word of God, you also got to say, Holy Spirit, help me understand. Amen? Glory to God. So you, you just don't want to be reading and then running off thinking you got it. Amen. You want to have you want God to give you discernment. You want God to help you rightly divide the word. So if the Bible says you got to rightly divide the word. That means that you can wrongly divide it. And so the only way to rightly divide it is to allow the Holy Spirit to help you. Somebody shout amen. amen. Because and see the enemy. That's why the enemy wants, wants to make sure. Excuse me. That's why God wants to make sure you know the word because the enemy knows some word. The enemy knows, see, he's cunning because he knows some word. It's like the brother was saying, he done, he done tapped in on some conversations, and he knows a little. He used to be an anointed cherubim, amen? Amen? He used to have a position in heaven, so he'd been around church folk. Oh, yeah. and, 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 you know, he done hung out with you. <laughs> you know, we, we used to run together, amen? And, and so he, and thank you, God. When the enemy comes with a, a, a temptation, again, it's something that you've, you've, you've often expressed an interest in or a concern about, and maybe you've talked about it in such a way that he knows it is something that you're deeply desiring, and it makes it easier for him to come because he knows that's something you want real bad. And, 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 and sometimes we're willing to give up the greatest thing we have for what's, what, what looks like it's going to be good. And the Bible says, what will a man, uh, uh, what, should it, what should it profit a man, thank you, Holy Ghost, to, what should it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Then he hits it with another part. And what will he give in exchange for it? And see, that's what the enemy tries to do when he gives you a temptation that's outside of the will of God. He's trying to he's trying to cause you to give up something that God wants you to do for something that he says is going to please you. And how many know sometimes it is something that you are already familiar with? Because he don't run. He, he don't let, he does not necessarily run a new game on you. He just run the old game. And so that's why we, we, we're not in. Come on, tell the truth and shame the devil. Hallelujah, can I do it that way, God? Oh. Back in your day, B.C., before Christ, come on, talk back to me. Certain things happened and you knew it was the devil. 
The, the, the best thing to do, just look straight ahead. Hallelujah. You knew it was the devil. You, 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 you didn't nobody have to tell you it was the devil. You knew it was the devil. He was come because he, he had come at you that way before. Here's the thing. The new person that you are now in Christ, the temptation ain't to see. It's yielding to it. The temptation is not to sin. It's yielding to it. Jesus was tempted at all points as we are tempted, but he didn't sin. See, that choice now is in our ball, in our court. We're the ones who, who decide whether you will or whether you want. That choice is yours. And, and see, God done put you in the word so you know the difference between right and wrong. Somebody shout amen. And, so, and see, every now and then you may have to ask, God help me to make the right choice. Come on, talk back to me now. Go to God. And, and God, God, how many know that God is ready? God don't have to, look, look, God ain't got to come from Timbuktu. He, he, he's right there, right there with you. The Bible says he's a very pleasant help. Amen? Yes. So, so, so don't be acting like, and, and look, you, 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 ain't got to, you ain't got to holler to the top of your lungs. He, he, he Come on now. He is not hard of hearing. All you got to do is say, Father, help me. And he'll help you. Amen? Y'all all right? Ooh, hallelujah. He said, from the, from the moment you pray, I heard you, amen. And, 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 and again, this is where that patience comes in, because here the prince of Persia holds, Daniel, uh, holds the angel up for 21 days. But then the angel said, now I've come for your words. Good, thank you. So that means that when you speak the right words, God, the Bible says God watches over his word to perform it. Come on now. And the angels do his word. And his word will not return. Come on now. See, we got all this stuff that you need to know so that you're not ignorant. And the enemy, although he's coming at you like this and that, you still know that God got you. Yeah. This is the confidence we have in him. Come on. If we ask anything according, according to, to his will, he hear us. And we know that if he hear us, come on. we have very petition that we, we have. have. Amen. Yeah. You see, that when we know God like that, then we're, th thank you, God. We're not ignorant of what God said he was going to do. Amen? Just, just like we're no longer ignorant of how Satan comes, we're not ignorant of, on, on how God works. Amen. And then when I'm believing and working and in accordance with God, I got a confident expectation. Hallelujah. Come on now, glory to God. Amen? And so when the enemy comes in, I, whoo, Look, can, can we say it like that? And I, I know it may sound crazy. And, and, and he says, I use the foolishness of preaching to confound the wise. So when the enemy comes in sometimes, and sometimes, and, and, and sometimes, sometimes instead of talking about, oh, oh, look at the devil. Oh, look at the, look what the devil done tried to do. He, oh, come on now. Oh, and then, and then you, 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 hey, hey, look, the devil done showed up. What? All of a sudden, here come the posse together. <laughs> Glory to God. And everybody gets on one accord and start praying what God said. And the enemy got to let them go. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Because what we don't want to do is glorify the devil. We don't want to go. We want to glorify God. We want to focus on God, not the devil. Not the devil. Bringing his stuff down by lifting God up. See, you and I. Just like Christ, we are a symbol to dismantle the kingdom of the enemy. I was it, uh, uh, 1 John 3, 8, I believe that's what it is. Uh, the devil sent it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of Man was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Well, see, as he is, talking about Christ, so are we in this world. Amen? So we are, we are supposed to be dismantling the enemy's kingdom. Amen. Oh, talk to him. Talk back to him, man. We, we, are to be, we are to be dismantling the, in, the, the enemy's kingdom. 
by the word of God. I'm going to make it sense. Okay, okay. But see, if you don't know that, if you don't know your power, you won't walk in your power. That's right. You don't know your authority, you won't use your authority. And see, you know, you can't get caught up. We can't get caught up on how good some look. Lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. Those are, those, those three major ways that the enemy comes. He don't run no new game. He just used the, look, the enemy said, why run, why run a new game on you when the old one still works? I read this thing that was just kind of so, it's kind of kind of funny uh, the other day. Hallelujah. Uh, about a lion and a fox. A lion and a fox, I think it was. And the lion told the fox he was hungry. Go get him some food. And so the fox went out and found the donkey and brought the donkey to the lion and the lion attacked the donkey and the lion was able to only bite the donkey's ears off and the donkey got away. And the lion said, I'm still hungry. And so he went back to the donkey and the donkey said, "Uh uh-uh, man, you tricked me. He said, no, uh uh-uh. He just cut your ears off because he got a crown for you. And your ears wouldn't have, wouldn't have worked with that crown. So come on back. It's going to be all right. And the donkey went back with him. This time he attacked the donkey and he cut his tail off. Bit his tail off. Donkey got away. Lion said, I'm still hungry. And he's looking at that fox like, you, 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 you look. He went back to the donkey. Donkey said, uh-uh, uh-uh, no. He said, uh-uh. He cut your tail off because he has a throne and he wants you to sit on that throne and you couldn't sit on that throne the way your tail was. Come on back, go back with him. So this time, he went back with him and the lion killed him. And then the lion told the fox, well look, go gut him out. Bring me his brain, bring me his heart, bring me his liver. Well, the, after a while, Fox came back with the liver and what else out the heart? Because he had ate the brain. And the lion said, where the brain at? The, the fox said, he didn't have no brain. Because if he had a brain, he wouldn't have came back. <laughs> so, 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 you know, we... <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, so, so look, you and I got to be cognizant enough. You know, if, if the enemy has ever gotten you one, one time, you know, you, you, you need to, it, 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 some, a, a light or something need to come on. So, so, so we got you and I got to, we, we, we have to learn now that, that the enemy, he, he's out to get you. So he, he don't have no new tricks. Uh, he'll come at you with your wants, your needs, and your, your desires. Uh, if you, and, and if you're one who are looking for instant gratification, then he's he, he, he going to try you in those areas that you want to be gratified. Uh-huh. And so you, that's why you have to learn how to pace yourself. You have to learn how to be patient. You, have, you know, you, you have to learn how, old folks said, turn that plate over. Come on now. You have to learn how to, 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 to uh, uh, go through some things while, uh, 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 how am I want to say? You, you got to learn how to be patient while things are going on in your life. Let me put it that way. James says, count it all joy when you fall into vi- uh, diverse temptation because he knows that they're going to work patience for you. Amen. And see, the more patience, patience you have the boy you're going to be able to accomplish. Now, he's not saying get to the point where, where, where you, what's that word, what's that word, what's that word? Start with a P2. Uh, uh, procrastinate, thank you. You, 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 you don't want to say it, I'm, I'm patient when actually you procrastinate. I'm talking to me now, go to God. So you, 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 you want to make sure that you're, you're, you're patient and not procrastinating because procrastination is a seed. Amen. 
And see, one of the things that the enemy will do is he'll try to make you think that you got all the time in the world when we got to work while it's day. Wave at me if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. All right. How many know Satan knows your weaknesses? Because he studies us. So, so if Satan knows my weakness, what do I need to do? Uh, okay, strengthen them, strengthen them. Okay. How? How do I strengthen, tr- tr- strengthen my... I need to go in those areas. I need to grow in those areas. Mature in those areas. How do I mature in those areas? Turn them over here. Turn them over here. He says, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. By the grace of God, God will strengthen us in those areas. And see, I, I, but I got to be wise enough to say, God, I'm weak in that area, don't I? Amen. I got to be wise enough to admit I need some help in that area. You have to partner with God. Got to partner with God. Let him develop the fruit of the spirit. It, uh-huh. Glory to God. Because all of it's going to work together. Yeah. Amen. For my good. Uh-huh. But I got to be willing to partner with God. I love what she said. I got to be willing to partner with God. And that means that God's going to do his part. How many know he always is? Yes. But I got a part to play. Right. See, I can't just be a, a hearer. Come on now. I got to also be a doer. Amen. I, I got. I have to be a doer, and then my doing is not busy work, but it's work that that glorifies God. Somebody shout, Amen. Okay, glory to God. Okay, so let's look. Let's see. So, so again, and if you're attacked in a, a weak area over and over again, that's a, that's, a, that's a way that you know that Satan is after you in that area. That's something that you definitely got to give to God. You got to give that to God. Come on, D. Come on. We got to do. And the only way to do that, you got to want to do it, and you got to spend time with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, hallelujah, you got to be transformed. And that transforming will lead to conforming, watch this now, to his way of thinking, his way of operating, amen, his way of doing things. Then when you, when, it, when, when you have that his way of doing things, that's the righteousness of God. Amen. That's God's way of doing things. Not your way, not my way, but his way. And when you get there, glory to God. The enemy's still going to come. Because he doesn't want you to, to really uh, grow up in acting like that. And, 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 and the more you grow, thank you, Holy Ghost, the more you grow and start to walk like that, the more the enemy going to come. See, sometimes we be thinking, the more I grow, the more anointing I have, the less the enemy is going to come. I, I believe it's, it's, it's the other way. I believe the, it's the more he's going to come. But here's the deal. Because you've grown up and because you've gotten so strong, he doesn't have the effect on you that he used to have. He's not able to accomplish what he used to accomplish because you, 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 you got that oil on you and you know how to shake it off. First John 4 and 4. Come on. Great is he that is in you. Come on. Than he that is in the world. And now you are letting what's in you out of you. Glory to God. Glory to God. So you're not down and you're not, and see, you're not confused either. Amen. You know, so, so, so some people may look at you and may think you're confused, that you don't know what you, you, you're talking about, you don't know what you're doing. No, no, you don't lost your mind so you can gain his. Amen. And now you're letting his mind be in you. And that's what, that is what is enabling you to rise above right. all the fray. Just a little peculiar. Mm-hmm, yeah, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at Ephesians 6 and 10. We don't want to doubt God. Amen. Tell your neighbor. Amen. Don't doubt God. So look at Ephesians 6 and 10. Ephesians 6 and 10 says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. 
again, you and I are not going to withstand, not going to be able to deal with the attacks of the enemy under our own power. Right. We got to have the power of the Holy Spirit. We got to have the power of the presence of God and Christ in our lives. Amen. Gotta that's that, that's needed. Arm. Amen. Go put on the whole armor and put on, and it, but, you know, being, being strong in the power of, it ain't our might, it's his might. Amen. Glory to God. He said, be strong in the Lord. That means that you and I got to operate by the spirit of God. Ain't that what uh, 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 Zechariah, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. But here it is. When you have the spirit of God, you get the might of God and the power of God by the spirit. Amen. And now because now by the spirit, you know how to use the might and the power to fight any battle. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. See, that is that, that's where that wisdom, he's been made wisdom, knowledge, so that wisdom now that he has can come upon you. Amen. Glory to God. So tell you, you got to have on the whole armor. Uh, 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 uh. Remember we said that the enemy knows the Bible, right? Uh -huh. And he, he knows about he knows about pretty good, though. Yeah. But see, you, 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 you ha, oh hallelujah, Woo, glory to God. You got scripture written on your heart, don't you? Yes. Shout back at me now. Come on now, Amen. glory to God. See, see, see. God says, I, I don't I, 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 I don't want it on tablets of stone. And I love the fact that you got this book and you got your electronic device. But what I really want this is on your heart, on your heart. I want it on your heart. I want it on your heart. I want it so ingrained in you that when you are squeezed, <laughs> when you are squeezed, don't nothing come out but the word. Amen. The, oh, oh, watch this, the unadulterated word. And see, when that word starts to come out, that's what Well, I love it when we hit somebody. Good. When that word starts to come out, the enemy starts to have to back up because he can't handle somebody that really, uh-oh, has allowed the word to become flesh. Yes. And how many know? Ooh. One of the ways to know that you're passing the test is that the Bible says in Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4 that after Jesus had been baptized, he was led by the Holy Ghost into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. No, 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 no. It wasn't just one day he woke up and that's what happened. For the last 18 years, y'all better talk back to me. For the last 18 years, from 12 to 30, Jesus had been subject to his mother and father. Jesus had been making sure that every I was dotted and every T was crossed as it relates to how he was coming up. And when he got baptized and came up out of the water, the Holy Spirit lighted on him. Am I telling the truth? Glory to God. And God said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And then he got led. Amen. So he had had 18 years of preparation for the temptation. Because the enemy is cunning. And if you're not allowing God to lead and guide you, sometimes we can get ahead of God. Amen. Amen. We, we, we won't tell you, don't, don't get ahead of God. So we got to know the word. Got to know the word. And we talked about 2 Corinthians 10, 13. 10, 10, 10. What, what, uh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. 10, 3. Look, let's go there for a minute. He said, for we walk in the flesh, we do not war in the flesh. You see, you know, when you are, are, are used to you, then you will do you. 
But you got to get used to you being you and God. Amen. And so that means that before you do you, you got to check with God to see if it's okay. Oh man, I'm, oh that's, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, good. Because in doing me, there's some things me do that ain't God. Amen. Amen. And when I want to be pleasing to God, I got to check with God before I do something. But the end, the enemy would. You think everybody else doing it. But see, that's why you and I got to stay with what God said. That's right. Amen. We can't deviate from it. That's what I want to thank you, Lord. You're so good to me. Uh, we like to operate. And I almost text you early. You, I was talking to, 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 to the men. I just mess up sometimes. <laughs> because just, you just. But I almost take, because I was thinking nuts and bolts. Okay, okay you know what I'm saying? Women ain't gonna know nothing about no nuts and bolts. But, but, but I was, I was saying, no brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on this side. Brothers, I was gonna text and ask, what's the purpose of a washer? In the nut and the bolt combination, what's the purpose of the washer? She would answer the question. She said, see, the washer actually makes the nut tighter on the boat. So I, I guess I could have included the women. <laughs> but but I, I bring all that up because what we like to do in this world is have some wiggle room. Mm -hmm. yeah. And wiggle room is where the nut ain't tight on the boat. And if the nut ain't tight on the boat, and you got this wiggle room, I've learned from a loose boat, a loose boat will not tighten itself up. Did you hear what I said? A loose boat will not tighten itself up. It'll just work its way all the way off until the wheel or whatever falls off and there's damage. That's what happened, people, when we decide I'm gonna operate in wiggle room. I'm a teeter-totter. I'm going to be hot and I'm going to be cold. Come on, talk back to me now. You're playing with fire. God don't want us up. You, you, thank you. A gray area. Well, the Bible doesn't actually say this. You, 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 you either going to believe the Bible or you're not. You be trying to find a gray area. You should be. Trying you should to find be. Hey, hey, thanks. I, I want to make sure I heard the right. Go. Oh, you you got to keep it one hundred. Amen. In the Bible, you know, there's black, white, and red. Amen. Black letters, white paper, red letters, and red paper. Ain't no gray. There's, there, there's no gray area. There's no blurred lines. No, no, thank you, God. The, what, 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 what people do is blur the lines. Stay with me. People blur, blur the lines. And, 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 and rather than saying, this is what God's word says, they'll say, well, I don't think he meant that. And, well, you know God is a God of grace. He is. But there is another side of God. And you don't want to meet that other side. Amen. Come on now. I'll be derelict in my duties. Deacon, if, you, if you are a true Christian, you'll be derelict in your duties if you let somebody think you can live a life of sin and still go to heaven.
Y'all all right? Y'all looking at me in that tone of voice. <laughs> Am I, you all right? And, and let's look at James. You got James up there. Go. So, so, hold on. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war in the flesh. And the weapons of a warfare are not carnal. Thank you. I don't have to finish that. He, said, he says, uh, 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 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's why you got to have on the whole armor of God uh, uh, put, put, to pull down strongholds. Strongholds are thoughts uh, in your mind. Some, some, some patterns of thinking that have been set over time in your mind. And a lot of people still operate in the kingdom of God from an old mindset. They have not allowed or not taken the time for their mind to be totally renewed by the things of God, by the word of God. And they still operating from old stuff and trying to fit it into God. And, 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 and it won't work. It won't work. That's why you got to become that new creature in Christ Jesus. What did you say? New wine and old skin. Okay. Try to put new wine in old skin. That's why I keep bursting, huh? Okay. So, so we got to pull down. the. And the only way to pull those thoughts down is by the word of God. Only way to bring those thoughts into captivity is by the word of God. And the only way to bring that into captivity by the word of God is to know the word of God. That's right. If you don't know the word of God, uh, 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 you, you, you can't do it. Amen? Or it's, it's difficult. Somebody say it's difficult. The Holy Spirit there to help you, yeah, it's difficult. You got to know him. Got him. He, he's the word that's going to become flesh. Amen. See, see, the letter will kill it, but the spirit give it life. When you got the spirit of God, he's going to help you bring all those thoughts in line with his word. He, he'll tell you exactly what he means for you. For right now. Because he knows the attacks that the enemy are coming at you with. God, I'm trying to get that. He knows those attacks because there are times he allows those attacks so that he can develop you for later use. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, I'm not saying every attack that, this, that Satan brings at you comes from God, but I can say every attack that the enemy sends or comes at you with, God already knows about it. And all things work together for the mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. of them that love God. Love. And see, God, know, God knows how to fit that attack, yes. even the results of it, into his plan. Mm-hmm. Again, got to bring those thoughts. Look what he said, verse 5. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when, when obedience is fulfilled. The, uh, the, uh, the key element right there is that you and I have to learn how to be obedient to God. Amen. Amen. See, in other words, before the enemy is going to be obedient to you, yes. you got to be obedient to God. Uh-huh. The, 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 the James says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Then he, the other verse, he said, cleanse your hands, purify your minds. Amen. So you got to, in submitting to God, you position, you are positioning yourself for the power of God, the authority of God to be legally yours to use against the enemy. Let me say that one more time. When you position yourself with God by submitting to God, the power of God, the authority of God becomes legally yours to you. You can now legally use the name of God, the name of Jesus, to cast out demons. To foil any of Satan's attacks. Because your life now is in line with what God, God wants for you in, his, in, in life. Y'all you know, looking like y'all don't believe me. Go to Luke chapter 10. I mean, Luke, Luke chapter 10. Pick up around about verse 17. I believe Luke chapter 10, Jesus uh, sends the disciples out. Uh, he sends 70 people out. 
and they come back. Uh, uh, he told them, don't take no money, don't take no purse, don't, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't take some stuff. But they went out in the name of the Lord. And when they came back, the Bible says the 70 returned with joy, saying, Master, even the demons are subject to us at your name. You got it? Read, 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 read it for me. Go, go a little slow for me, okay? And the 70 returned again with joy, mm -hmm. saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning mm -hmm. fall from heaven. Come on. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions mm -hmm. and over all the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Look at that. He says, I give you this authority. Amen. Scorpions and serpents are just, just uh, 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 names for spiritual wickedness principalities and powers, all those things that we find in Ephesians chapter 6 that we wrestle against. For we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but the, the, all these spiritual, the money, powers are what we're wrestling against. How do you handle it? By the authority in the name of Jesus, the power that you and I get by being sons and daughters of God. Amen? But you got to stay submitted to him. Somebody say stay submitted. You got to submit to God. Amen? Okay, okay. We, 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 we went over about any questions or comments because we had 758 and, and, and we got a couple more things to do. How, any questions or comments? We're talking about uh, how to handle uh, 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 satanic attacks. Anybody ever had a satanic attack? Yes. Okay. okay. Is it scary? It can, I, I love the way you said that, it can be. When you, huh? We know what to do. And, and, and she said, I think sometimes even when you know what to do, he, he, he can. But when you, know God, when you know God, God will get you over your fear. Yes. Touch your name and say, God will get you over your fear. When he told Tim, Timothy, for God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I, you know, I just got to get y'all to do this for me. Glory to God, my, my, hallelujah, my, my, hallelujah. My, my granddaughter, my granddaughter had to go to the dentist. And she her mama child. Hallelujah. What my, 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 my daughter called me three or four weeks ago. She went to the dentist, and uh, she got up out the chair and, and, and left because she had a panic attack. You know, no, no, no matter what they did, she, the, she, she said, y'all ain't pulling my teeth today. And, and my granddaughter today had a panic attack at the dentist. She, they finally did the work. But I'm saying this, thank you, God, thank you, God. For God has not given her the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And I'm decreeing and declaring that over my children and my grandchildren right now, that the enemy can't use fear or intimidation to stop them from accomplishing what God got for them to accomplish. And since I got some folk in here that according to the word of God, one could put a thousand to flight. I got a thousand on the run in the name of Jesus. But I got some other folk up in here. Come on, church. Amen. Who are praying in line with the word of God. That's right. That my children, our children, yes. our grandchildren don't operate in fear Amen. and intimidation from the enemy. But in power and might by the spirit of almighty God. Can y'all give God some glory? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, 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 see. If you and I don't take authority over the enemy, he'll try to exert authority over us. That's right. Ain't gonna happen up in here. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Glory to God. Okay, oh, I'm calm down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Any questions or comments? Hallelujah. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. My grand, my granddaughter said, Papa, Papa, you, you, Papa, you brought me up in church. Uh, every chance I get, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, any questions or comments before we, uh, before we close out and uh, have communion? Somebody shout amen. Amen. Come on. Anybody, anybody? Come on, talk back to me. Talk, tell me something, amen. It look like everybody okay, amen? All right, all right. Come on, stand to your feet.
If you're in this house and under the sound of my voice and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you're in the right place at the right time. Amen. Glory to God. God said if you confess your sins, he's faithful to, faithful to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. So if you're under the sound of my voice or in this building, you've never, ever accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you're in the right place at the right time to do so. Amen. That's where your step starts by coming into the body of Christ, by being filled with God's Holy Spirit and receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, being totally, completely forgiven of all your sins. You start a new life in Christ with that, with that confession. Secondly, if you once made that confession, but you allowed the trials, tribulation, stuff happening in the world, the enemy con you, and he talked you into doing this, and he talked you into doing that, but glory to God, God is faithful. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. He says, I, I, I can take you though your sins be as right or red as crimson. I'll wash you and you'll be white as snow. He said, all you got to do is come back to me. Glory to God. I'm, I'm standing and I'm knocking at the door of your heart. All you got to do is say, Father, I sinned. I rededicate my life. I want to come back home. And he'll meet you, hug you, just like he did the prodigal son. Brought him back in as a son. Not a stepson, not a servant. He'll put you back in your rightful place as a child. His child. Somebody shout Amen. Last but not least, if you don't have a church home, we're here at Mount Coma Ministries, 2015 Grove Street. We'll be glad to have you as a part of our fellowship. We'll teach you as the Holy Spirit is teaching us how you and I can win in every area of our lives. Amen? Hallelujah. So those are the three things that we offer tonight. An opportunity for you to get to know Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior. An opportunity for you to rededicate, rededicate your life if you need to. And an opportunity for you to become a part of our fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we give you the glory, we honor you, we praise you, we thank you, O oh God, for the opportunity to share your word. Continue, O oh God, to empower us, illuminate us by your word, allowing us to use the authority that we have in you to, to dismantle the, the enemy's kingdom and to cause you, O oh God, to be glorified in the earth. We thank you for it. We decree it by faith that it is so. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. If you hear, glory to God, this is our first Wednesday, our communion Wednesday. If you didn't get a chance to have communion on, on Sunday, you can have com communion today. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. There's, there, there's healing in this communion. Amen. Deliverance in this communion. And the Bible says, as often as you do this, come on now. Do